Hi guys, welcome back to my mathematics tutorial. My name is Peter C. Dogwood Jr., your math tutor, and I am an instructor of mathematics at the University of Liberia. In today's lesson, we want to continue from where we stopped in previous lesson, that is finding derivatives of trigonometric inverse functions using trigonometric substitution method. So like we said in our lessons, it's important to have an understanding of the trigonometric identities. So if you do not have much understanding on the trigonometric identities, like the double angles, the half angle, the sum, the difference identities, the Pythagorean's identity, you can at least review them. And we have videos for that. You can check my page. We have videos for that. We have full lessons on derivatives of uh, on the the trigonometric identities. So you can just review that before looking at this method or else you might just be confused but yet and still i will still provide you with the step-by-step -step approach towards the problems that we'll be solving so question 30 says y equals to tangent inverse of x minus y divided by one plus x times y now if we look at this problem this is similar to this so you can just try this on your own after we have solved this if you look at this problem this problem is similar to tangent of a difference identity so we know that tangent of a minus b is equals to tangent of a minus tangent of b all over one plus tangent of a tangent of b so this is tangent of a difference identity so we see that this is similar so x can now represent tangent of a and y can represent tangent of b remember our objective is to just make this entire expression in here to be a tangent function such that tangent inverse of tangent of a particular angle equals to that angle so now we have y equals okay let's do the substitution first we say let x equals tangent of a and y equals tangent of b so we also need to find a and b so to find a we take tangent inverse on both sides so we say tangent inverse of x tangent inverse of tangent of a so tangent inverse of x is just equal to a because tangent inverse of tangent of a is equal to a similarly if we take tangent inverse on both sides we're going to have tangent inverse of tangent of b and then this will be tangent inverse of y now equals to b. So we're going to use these two values later. But let's do the substitution back in the problem. So we have y equals tangent inverse of, now x is tangent of a minus y is tangent of b divided by 1 plus x again is tangent of a and then tangent of b but this entire expression here represents tangent of a minus b so we have y equals tangent inverse of tangent of a minus b so y now becomes a minus b so what is our a what is our a? Our a now is tangent inverse of x minus what is our b? Our b is tangent inverse of y. So finally, we can just say our final answer would just be y prime equals, we are now differentiating this. The derivative of tangent inverse of an angle is equal to 1 all over 1 plus x squared times the derivative of the angle itself is just the derivative of x is just 1 minus 
derivative of tangent inverse of y is just 1 all over 1 plus, now the angle, y squared. Right? Times the derivative of y. So what is the derivative of y? y prime. Now the reason why we are we are multiplying it by the derivative of y because y is the name of a function. And, and that's that's the function that we are dealing with in the problem. So whenever we differentiate y, we must attach y prime. Now, our objective is to ensure that we solve for y prime. Put y prime on one side of the equation, right? So now what we can do is that we can send this term across. So y prime plus y prime all over 1 plus y squared or equals to 1 over 1 plus s squared. So if we factor out so if we factor out y prime y prime we will just have 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus y squared or equals to 1 all over 1 plus s squared. Now, this expression now we have to go on this side of the equation, right? So what we can do, we first simplify it. So if y prime, now 1 plus y squared times 1 is 1 plus y squared plus 1 all over 1 plus y squared or equals to 1 all over 1 plus x squared. So in order for this expression to come on this side now, 1 plus 1 is just 2. So we can just rewrite this as y squared plus 2. Or 2 plus y squared, whatever the case might be. So we want to send this expression on this side. So this is what we can do. The denominator, we put it in the numerator. Such that this time this, this will cancel. Divided by the numerator, now we put it within the denominator. So we multiply this expression by this entire thing. This time, the first one, so this and this will go out. You, have, you just have y prime. And then this time, this. So we will now have 1 plus y squared all over 1 plus x squared times 2 plus y squared. So if we let, we can just multiply the two of them. y prime equals 1 plus y squared all over 1. 1 times one times 2 is 2. 1 times y squared is y squared. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. And x squared times y is x squared y squared. So this is it. If you, you don't want to multiply since you notice that there will be, you know, you, you are not going to simplify this expression further. So you can just leave it as it is. Now remember, we can consider this as our final answer. Or we can bring back the value of y. We can bring back the value of y, which is tangent inverse. So we can bring back the value of y. So y prime can be 1 plus now, this is just tangent inverse of x minus y all over 1 plus xy. Then this whole expression is raised to the power 2 divided by 1 plus x squared times 2 plus. Now, y now becomes this y becomes the same thing. We have tangent inverse of x minus y or over 1 plus xy. This whole thing is raised to the power of 2. And then multiply by this expression. So we can call this our final answer, or we call this our final answer, whatever the case might be. But preferably, you can just maintain this as your answer. So thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in our next lesson. Thank you.